All right, so John Morant is still on his apology tour. And until the NBA finds something else to talk about for the next couple of months, John Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies are going to be the main thing that the NBA is discussing every night, trying to see if they can get past this John Morant situation. But I want to make it clear. We're hearing about a few more problems in Memphis that don't have anything to do with John Morant. But over the last couple of days, people have gotten the idea that maybe some of John Morant's bad decision making came from his use of alcohol. Now, he was talking about this today during his press conference. Let's see what he had to say. Never had an alcohol problem. So I went there for consummate um, to learn how to, you know, manage stress, cope with stress in, you know, a positive way. Um, instead of, you know, ways I've, you know, tried to deal with it before that, you know, caused me to make you know, mistakes. So. Now, as you can see, he was talking about his counseling in Florida because a lot of people were thinking maybe it wasn't counseling, but some type of AA program where he was trying to get off the alcohol. Now, you can't really blame people for thinking he's an alcoholic because of so many clips like this that have went viral. He looking behind him like he a little kid trying to hide it from his mama and daddy. G12 all weekend, man. What amigos that? Choose your poison. Choose your poison is exactly right, Ja. Now, I don't think Ja Morant is an alcoholic. I don't think he's strung out. And let's be honest, if he was a regular guy, he could get off of work and go to the bar and have a couple of drinks, and it wouldn't be that bad. But unfortunately, he's in the NBA, and he's held to a higher standard. If you want to be an NBA superstar, you want the money, you want the girls, you want the cars, you have to product yourself the way the NBA wants you to. And not only that, I think John Morant comes from a decent family. I don't think he's a thug or a gangster, all right? So I think he has it in him to behave the way he needs to behave. But you heard him earlier. He was talking about his mental health and getting counseling for stress. He said a couple of days ago, this is the best he's felt mentally since he walked into the NBA. More importantly, I just hope John Morant is getting the help that he needs to be able to avoid these situations in the future. All right. Um, it's a lot of potential for this Memphis Grizzlies team. And it's a lot of potential for John Morant as a player. Also, we're hearing about the team being immature and that the organization has to take precautions so they can avoid letting the players go out and enjoy the nightlife because it seems that the Memphis Grizzlies have had some problems with immaturity, you know, apart from John Morant. And they're a young team as a whole, so I'm not really surprised by that. I just don't want them to squander their opportunity. I think this is a team in the next one or two, three years that could be a championship contender, but they got to be able to stay focused. A lot of people joke about that bubble team, that Lakers team that won the championship during the pandemic, but I think they won because they were the most disciplined team in the bubble. And that's what you need. Everybody's good during the regular season. The Memphis Grizzlies are still playing well without Ja. But that's the regular season. We know when the postseason comes, it's going to heat up. And especially for this team, because everybody's going to be watching and they want to see how good this team will perform, given all of Ja Morant's issues and their immaturity issues as well. So it's up to them to prove the world wrong, and hopefully we'll see the uh, Memphis Grizzlies have a good postseason. Let me know what you guys think about this. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.